All right, first question. Will you be able to keep the mullet at Army? Uh, no, I won't be able to keep the mullet at Army. I got to cut it the first day I get there. Oh, man, that's disappointing. Um, what, uh, what's a day like today like, though, to be able to, uh, despite the fact you have to cut the mullet, to be able to, to sign to play at the school like Army? Um, it's probably one of the best days of my life, just being able to have this opportunity to play for a great school like West Point and to follow a great tradition-rich program. What sold you on, on being able to go there? Um, the coaches, uh, they have a great thing going on there with uh, just providing those, those uh, players with a great plan and uh, just the school itself, getting there and seeing the beautiful uh, campus was a huge part for me. What do you feel like will be the most challenging aspect? Because obviously, you know, you go to Army, it's more than just football. What, what, are, what are kind of be the most uh, challenging things that, that you'll have to overcome in your time there, do you feel like? Um, I think academics is going to be, it's going to be hard, it's going to be grind, but uh, I think Snyder and playing Snyder football has uh, prepared me with uh, that kind of work ethic that as long as I work as hard as I can, I can pretty much accomplish whatever I want. Was this always a plan or going there, is that what inspired you going to Army? Um, I mean, I've always wanted to be in the military. Uh, that was just kind of one of my internal obligations that I got to serve for this country. And going to West Point was just uh, kind of the right fit. I mean, it's got so much opportunities, and I think for the right kid, it's just perfect for him. Um, I'd say it set into reality to be a goal for me in middle school. Um, I uh, started at Blackhawk and then went to Snyder, and those are two great programs that I was able to be a part of. And then um, starting as a safety, it brought me to where I am now. What, uh, what was it about Indiana State that made that the right fit for you? On the culture that they have there, um, it's on the rise too, and I just can't wait to be a part of that and win some championships. Obviously, uh, they had a heck of a year last year, kind of a bounce back year. So one would argue that they should have been in the in the tournament, but sure. um, to be able to kind of join a, a program that, that that's got that kind of momentum right now, how much does that excite you? Uh, it's very exciting. Um, I can't wait to get there and be part of the group. What's oh. a, go ahead, go ahead, Chris. What was it about uh, Snyder that made you come here? Um, well, I mean, Blackhawks a feeder school to Snyder, so it was just in the district, but um, playing for the best school in the SAC. What, uh, what do you feel like your, your role will be there? I mean, what have the coaches told you that, that, uh, that they're expecting from you, you know, especially coming in here as a freshman? Well, they have a lot of young guys, so um, my role would be to come in and compete. Um, I mean, my goal is always to get the starting job, but I'm just going to come in there and uh, work hard. What do you think they identified in you um, as a defensive back that they liked, that, that they felt like could translate to the college level? Um, I feel that uh, my IQ at the safety position, uh, ball skills, and uh, coming out of breaks is something that they liked. How do you feel like Snyder, you know, obviously you guys have played in, in a ton of championship games in your four years here. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel like playing in a program like this prepares you to go and, and play at the next level? And it prepares you the most you can be prepared. Um, Snyder prepares you for everything in football and prepares you for everything in life. Oh, it's awesome. It's uh, a dream come true, really something I've been thinking about for a long time. It's, it's just a great experience. What was it about Indiana Tech that made that the right fit for you? Uh, I knew a lot of guys there already. I played travel with uh, a few of their coaches, a few of their guys. Had really good experiences with them before. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> great relationships. I love those guys. They really embraced me, took me in. It's, I love them. How much does it excite you to be able to, obviously, they've that, that program has had quite a bit of success, uh, especially last year, to be able to you know, compete at that kind of level, especially in your hometown, and kind of still represent Fort Wayne. Uh, it's awesome. You know, those guys, they come out there to compete every single day. They're a bunch of workers, and uh, that's really what I signed up for. I'm ready for it. What do you feel, what do you feel like your role will be, and, and how do you feel like you can contribute going in there as a freshman? Um, you know, maybe practice squad, S something real nice. Give the older guys a little bit of work, but uh, you, you never really know coming to a great program like that. Um, it's a good feeling. Uh, I've been waiting quite a while for this, and now that the opportunity has come, uh, it's, a, it's a relieving feeling just to know that finally I don't have to worry about where I'm going to go and knowing that I can take my athletic career to the future. What was it about Indian, or Illinois Wesleyan that, that made that a good fit for you? Um, Illinois Wesleyan is just it's a very competitive school academically and athletically, and um, the program feels that I could be a good asset both defensively and offensively for the team. And I hope hopefully that um, we can take the team to the NCAA tournament next year. I was going to say, kind of, how do you see yourself fitting in there? What have the coaches told you your, your role will be within the program? Um, certainly uh, the, for IWU, they're graduating a lot of seniors this year. And so um, the coach is hoping to get a stronger defensive presence in for the team. And I mean, they've been to the NCAA tournament for the past two, three years for a six-year team. So 
Uh, the coaches kind of told me, you know, with my presence and some of the other prospective athletes, uh, hopefully we can make it to the semifinals and maybe even championship. What, uh, what are your goals outside of lacrosse? What do you plan to major in? Uh, I plan to major in pre-med and biology and outside of lacrosse, uh, just, you know, focus on my academic career and hopefully that will lead to a path of dermatology. <laughs> it's great and kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> I get nervous, but I'm really excited to do this. Um, it's been great. <laughs> how long has division or how long has soccer been a goal for you, and, and what's it like knowing that you've been able to, to, to sign to play college soccer now? Um, it's always been a goal. I don't remember a time that I wasn't on a soccer field or I wasn't doing soccer just to calm myself down or without a soccer ball, to be honest. And uh, one more time, what was it about Manchester that stood out to you? Um, the girls in particular, they were so nice to me and the way that I can further my education while being around like a team that's so welcoming.